Did you know that you can bring mature pepper plants in from your garden and harvest from them all winter long? Hi, I'm Kyneen and I'm a Provident Prepper. This fall, just before the first frost, we went out into the garden and dug up many of our peppers. So we have a huge variety to see if we could overwinter them indoors. And as you can see, we have been incredibly successful. I also took some clippings and rooted them to see if I could clone them. Now when you compare these pepper plants to these, obviously these are much more successful because they're not working hard to establish a root system. But these also worked really well. Now in this video, we are going to show you not only how we um, prune these and trim them up so that they would be successful bringing them indoors, but we're gonna show you our test group of four different lighting scenarios that we have used here in our indoor garden. The first one is a pepper plant that was just put on the floor. It received just a little bit of direct sun every day and then ambient lighting from the room. The second test group is in our nice sunny window. And then the third test group is underneath some inexpensive shop lights that we had developed to be able to grow plants. And then the fourth group is underneath a commercial grow light. And in this video, we'll show you the comparison and let you see exactly how each group did under the different lightings. Join me. Today we are going to talk about growing peppers indoors. I have to say that I was shocked at how incredibly easy peppers are to grow indoors. Some crops you have more of a challenge with than others, but peppers, quite frankly, they are really easy. These are the peppers back in the spring before we planted them out. I like to prune them so that they are a bushier plant, but this is where it all started. Those little peppers were able to grow in our garden all season long until the weather started to chill and th frost was threatening. We harvested all of the remaining peppers and then I pruned these peppers and I repotted them with some good potting soil into all the different available pots that we had. In order for the peppers to survive, you have to prune them a lot. The year before, we decided we would try to overwinter peppers and I just didn't have the heart to cut them back and they all died. This year, I was brutal. I really pruned these peppers down and you can see most of them just have one little V and you can see all the new little buds and the leaves that were left on it, but all of the growth was gone. It, it can be heartbreaking, but you've gotta be brave because if you don't, the plants aren't going to survive. One of the other things that we did is to take some clippings off of those pepper plants and we rooted them. I did not lose one single pepper plant that we had dug up and transplanted. However, several of the plants I tried to clone did not work. They, and they took longer to root. But it is another way that you can take advantage of some of that other growth that you've had and not have to start them from seed. So this little tiny plant right here was taken from the same pepper plant and yet look, look at this, look how, how beautiful and big these peppers are compared to these little teeny tiny ones because this was developing its little root system, right? So this is definitely much more advanced than the cloned peppers. And this is the little pepper plant that sat on the floor in just a little bit of sunlight. Every day it would pass over it, it would get some sunlight. Other than that, it received ambient light from the grow lights when they were on or from the sun. Now this pepper plant right here is the one that was on the floor in that control group. And if you look, it has a little teeny tiny pepper. This one is pepper of the same variety that was in the sunny window. As you can tell, they started off right about the same size plants, but the one in the window has been significantly 
more successful in being able to produce fruit. It's got, this one had quite a few blossoms, but the blossoms didn't seem to set. This one not only has blossoms, but those blossoms set really nicely too. So definitely the plant that was in the sunny window had much higher level of production than the one that was on the ground. And so now this plant, the study is done and it gets to take its place in a sunny window. Jonathan had done some research and made some inexpensive grow lights using shop lights. If you wanna click the card in the corner, it'll take you to a post that shows you exactly the specifications of everything that he used. But we put some of the peppers under these grow lights. And as you can see, they started to bud out. And this was the picture today, and they're doing fairly well underneath these grow lights. Now these peppers were put on the top shelf because I didn't have any room under any of the existing lights that we had. And I was just hoping that they would get enough light that they would overwinter and still be alive to plant in the spring. However, Spider Farmer contacted us and asked us if we would be interested in trying out one of their grow lights. And I was incredibly excited because I knew exactly where I needed this grow light to be. And so these peppers, within just a couple of weeks after having that grow light in, they really started to come to life and look really good. Before that, the peppers that were underneath the lights and in the window definitely had the advantage. And now you can see they have little peppers growing on them and we are getting ready to be able to harvest. They've performed really well underneath that little grow light. We put another batch of the peppers in front of the sunny windows. If you look at this windowsill, it's really small and the plants are just have to be pushed right up next to that window in order for them not to fall off the shelf. But Jonathan figured out a solution. And if you click the card in the corner, it'll take you to a video that we created of him and Benjamin building these shelves for me. But it's really cool because you could do this design with any sunny window. It just has these little cleats on either side that are screwed into the sheetrock in order to hold this shelf up, which means that if you're living in an apartment or some type of rental where you can't damage the actual windowsill, you can put up this kind of a shelf, put those in place, and when, then when you pull out, all you have to do is put a little bit of putty and repaint over that sheetrock and no no damage has been done but you were still able to grow in the window and the really cool thing about growing in a sunny window is it doesn't require any electricity you can grow your survival garden in south facing windows so if you have one it would be a really good idea to take best advantage of that okay so these are poblano peppers so they're a different variety um, this one was under the commercial grow light and it was highly stressed at the beginning because when I dug it up, I just stuck it up on that high shelf. It didn't have any light for the first three weeks or so until we had gotten the commercial grow light. And then it's made significant progress. Um, it was also a taller plant to begin with. You can see where the original cutting was there and the tallest original cutting is here. Um, but you can see that this one that was in the sunny window it's done a fantastic job of um, blossoming and setting fruit. It looks healthy and strong. And um, this one underneath the commercial grow light, it's done a good job of coming out of it. It's got plenty of blossoms and it will be interesting to see how it catches up. Now this is kind of a really good comparison. These are bell peppers. And this one was under the inexpensive shop lights that Jonathan had made for us. The one in the center was in the sunny window and this one was underneath the commercial grow lights. Now remember, all of these started out differently and the one under the commercial grow lights was very stressed because it didn't have any light for about three weeks and was looking pretty sad. Um, so it, it's not a perfect comparison, but I'll show you what I've noticed. On this one, it's done a fantastic job of setting fruit. We've got beautiful peppers on here, but I don't have very many new blossoms. I've only got, you know, just a few new blossoms. So I wish that it was blossoming more, but all these dark um, blossoms that look like they're dead, those are all new little peppers growing. So we're definitely gonna have more fruit on this one. And on this little guy, he is so adorable. He's working so hard. Um, he was smaller to start with, 
but you can see there's a lot of the process here. There's a lot of fresh blossoms, right? There's fruit that's setting, there's fruit that's on. Um, very much it's happy in the sunny window. A, a good south-facing sunny window is a fantastic option for pepper plants. And then this one underneath the commercial grow light, um, he's very, or she's very happy. We've got all kinds of new blossoms, as you can see. There's new blossoms, there's blossoms that are set, and there's, you know, peppers on this plant. And I would imagine we will be eating a lot of peppers off of this plant soon too. So, as that's, that's our comparison. Each one of these methods absolutely work well. The method on the floor, not so much, but each one of these can produce a lot of fruit for you. However, um, some of them really do perform better than others. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the peppers. This is the one that just graduated to the window, poor thing. It was um, on the floor and you can see that while it did, it does have a little pepper there, it just wasn't as happy and fruitful as some of the other plants. All of these that are in the window are just doing spectacularly well. Really, they're happy in there. We put these new window shelves in here because they were just too far up against this glass and I didn't have enough room and they just needed more room. And so hopefully they'll start performing even better. But they are just incredibly happy and producing little peppers. And I love the variety that we have. There's all kinds of peppers for all kinds of different dishes. And then these are the grow lights that Jonathan made for me. Very, very inexpensive way to do this. And these are the little pepper plants. As you can see, some of them are very happy. Some of them, are, you know, they're blossoming. Some of them are setting fruit, but they, they are not producing as well. I mean, they still are producing. Check it out, There's, they're beautiful, right? And we have like, this one has a lot on it. This little guy's gonna be a lot of fun. But they're just not quite as happy as the scroll light and these are up here so I need to climb up this ladder to reach this in our solarium in our garden we are trying really hard to use all of the available space that we possibly can which means that we need to grow up so this is the spider farmer it's a commercial grow light and you can see we've got all of these peppers that are just looking really beautiful um, and these plants were very, very stressed. They were some of the taller ones that I had pruned and they were put up on this top shelf because they weren't gonna fit really well anywhere else. So as you can see, the grow light, well, it's designed especially for this, but it does a really good job. But quite frankly, Mother Nature, does a great job. One of the things that I am most excited about is that in the spring, we will be able to start out the season with mature plants, which means that I should have a harvest sooner and a much more abundant harvest because we just have this little short growing season. So I am really excited about this. Growing peppers inside has turned out to be an incredibly easy indoor crop. As I mentioned before, I have not lost one of these pepper plants that I dug up and brought in. And to me, usually you, you lose something, but these have all been really hardy and they're performing really well. And we are to the point now where we can start harvesting the peppers that we are growing. If you'd like to learn more about growing an indoor survival garden, visit the Provident Prepper, How to Grow an Indoor Survival Garden. There's a YouTube video, quick DIY plant shelf, that shows you exactly how Jonathan built these really cool shelves for me. And then we did a review on the Spider Farmer Grow Light. It makes a big difference when you have the right kind of lighting for your plants. And this little light turned out to be quite a blessing for our pepper plants. 
check them out. I think it's absolutely amazing that I can have the same pepper plants that were in my garden earlier this year producing peppers for my family all winter long while my garden is blanketed in snow. And now for the question of the day. What experience do you have growing peppers indoors? And what's your favorite variety of peppers? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.